Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Hello and good morning everyone. It's the weekend and we are so excited. This particular weekend for us is conference weekend. Two days that we spend hearing from leaders from our church. We always make it a special weekend. I have got a special breakfast lined up for the kids. Halloween stuff. They have some fun activities today. Also, conference is something that you can watch on TV. Kids have a hard time listening and sitting still for that long. So I have tried to make this an easy way for them to pay attention, enjoy, and have fun. If, if they hear certain words, then they get one. They get one little treat. Family, scriptures, faith prophet, prayer, and temple. So there's lots of little treats that they can have. If they're listening though, you have to be listening. That is the key thing. And, and then dad can quiz them year. and they can choose anything from like fun glasses. This one is awesome. You punch it and then it just expands. It expands. There's little there's notebooks. Really cool you can make rock crystals. There's sticky hands. Tons of fun things. And then down here are some fun activities. Um, this one, they get to bounce the ball into the cup. Um, little there's little eyeballs. There's a treat for each of them. I bought little fun eyes that they can put on a skull. Some dice that dad can play fun games with. Yeah, and during half time, me and the boys and dad are going to be making for the next half. That'll be super fun. Yes, there's so many fun things that you guys can play with, huh? I think this is going to be the best conference we've ever had. I think so this. too. Thanks for doing this. You're welcome. To start off conference morning, I am gonna make eggs. Nothing too exciting. A lot of people have fun traditions. Brandon's parents always make eggs benedict. We are having that tomorrow morning. We will be with them. Today I am just gonna make eggs and I have this bacon from Costco. This is awesome to buy you guys. It's great and so many things. And we're just gonna make some cheesy eggs with bacon. It should be super yummy. Or we could make omelets. Do you guys Omelets or just eggs? Oh, eggs. eggs. Omelet. Omelet. I haven't tried an omelet, so I'll do it. I, yeah, you guys should try an omelet. Maybe I'll do omelets. Egg. One sex. I have made up all their omelets. We're gonna give them to him. Rye guy, will you pass me Cruz's plate? Right on there, right on your fun Halloween plate. This is Rye guys. And then Hazy and Brex, you guys are gonna share one. How about that? Yes. They wanted to try one first. It's delicious. Brexy, here you go. I'm so tired. Oh no. The other day, Brexton chose eggnog, which is what they call it. We know it's eggnog, they call it eggnog. And we have some leftover Ooh. apple juice, so I'll cut it for you. I'll cut it. They've got their eggnog. I mix it with a little bit of milk because you guys, it's a little bit thick. If you've had eggnog, you know it's thick. And maybe some of you, that's what you like about it, but I feel like it's a I little like thick. I like eggnog more than milk. Ooh, I do too, I, like I think. I like it with more than milk. I don't really like it with the milk, but it's still good with the milk. What do you guys think of these omelets? Oh my gosh. You like them? Uh -huh. You guys, these are super simple. As you saw, I just did bacon and cheese. You can get really fancy with them. That was like probably 10 minutes. This is just a time of year that we absolutely love. Tons of traditions around this time of year, so it's super fun. Ryla requested a second <laughs> omelet. Hazy is playing with she gave me a yellow. lip glosses. Oh, she gave you, Hazy's it's kind. like a chapstick, huh? She is kind, she's a nice girl. Just two more days left of this cast and it will be gone ski. Me right guys, today we are watching conference and my mom got us a ton of activities to do during it and one of them, it's really cool. It's one of these things. Comment down below if you guys have seen one of these. We have not tried them. So I'm but all you gotta do is is like just punch it and then it expands. It's really cool. All right, crew, go ahead. Whoa! Okay, now keep watching because it will explode. Back up a little bit, right guys. Oh my God. Guys, Can you hear that? It's like sizzling up. What does it say on it? It's cold. Trick or treat. <laughs> That's so cool. Ready, Rexy? Set. Send it. Ow. Oh shoot, that did it. Can everybody's gotta wait? Gotta wait. Gotta wait. Punch yours with your cast. Ready, set, go. Hard. Ow. Oh my. Jesus. Oh, 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 it's coming! It's coming! It's coming! Hazy, it's coming! It's coming! Oh shoot, that was Brexton's. There it is. They're hard. <laughs> Kids are breaking into some more crafts here. Kruby Doo has made a sick Halloween paper airplane. It's not really a paper airplane, it's like a savage airplane. Okay, dude, send it, see how far it goes. 
Okay, not too bad, not too bad. I feel like if you got the toss down a little bit, like a more gentle flick like this. Hey, Brexit Doodle, what do you got going over here? Brexton is opening up some gel. Are those stickies? What are they? Like little spooky sticky spider web doily things? Seriously, such a huge selection of fun activities that mom left for us here. I feel like we should call these like Halloween Olympics, even though we haven't really like been keeping track of anything. But the next event in the Halloween Olympics is the I don't know, it's the eyeball toss. I don't know what you would call this. But basically, these cups are filled with eyeballs, and the idea is that you have to balance them into the cup. Oh, I almost got it. So we're gonna do some teams here. We're gonna do Rye Guy and Crew are our team, and me, Brex, and Hazy are our team, and we're gonna see who can get the most in their cups. On your mark, get set, go. Oh, one just fell in here, but it came from over there. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh, I think I was on a triple bounce. Oh, Brex, I'm gonna do it right in. Okay, right guy and crew, we won. So let's show them what they want, everybody. Check it out, guys. The winners got this exotic skeleton necklace. Perfect attire for Halloween Town. <laughs> Mom is gone. She's headed up to Park City. She's gonna go hang out with the other Bingham ladies for the weekend. We're gonna join her tomorrow morning. Hi. <laughs> but while it's just me and the kids, we thought we'd go do something fun this afternoon. We'll go head up the canyon here to Tipple Fork, one of our favorite go. spots. Hazy girl, wait, I was gonna show him real quick. Look at how Hazy has on purple everything. Purple jacket, purple shirt, to match her purple cast. We're milking it, guys, because it's almost done with cast time. Monday, mm, I'm gonna get this cast off. We're just chilling here at Tipple Fork, guys. It is the lowest we've ever seen it. Like, that thing back there in the distance is usually up even with the dam there. The water level's super low. Kids brought some fishing poles. I don't know if we're gonna catch anything, but just a fun way to spend the afternoon up here in the canyon in nature. The beautiful yeah. colors, snow-capped mountains. It's just a great place for us to come hang out as a family today. Super slanted. That's because the water's so low. That bridge is usually floating, but right now it's super slanted. Hazy, hold on to daddy's hand, okay? Here we go, ready? See, this part, all of this part is a floating dock that's usually underwater. Well, not underwater. Water's underneath this, and it floats up, but instead we're taking a nice steep walk down here. What a freaking epic way to spend the afternoon. Right, guy, by the way, you dress like a boss, dude. Like, you know how to dress. Yeah. Yeah, so they go that way. Look at this, you guys. Look at these snow-capped mountains over here. This is so picturesque. We've got this whole entire reservoir. If you guys haven't watched some of our vlogs where we come here in the summer, this is one of our favorite spots to come kayaking, stand up paddle boarding, things like that. Weather is pretty mild still. In the winter, this will freeze over completely. We'll come out here a couple times in the winter and walked across it. It's fun. But I'm gonna send the drone up while these guys do some fishing. I think I'm gonna get out the mini squid or the crab. What are you fishing for? What are you trying to get? I'm fishing for a rainbow trout. Okay, sounds good. I was thinking maybe a marlin or like a great white shark, but uh, Rainbow Trout, that's good. You're gonna get a catfish. Right, guy, what are you trying to get, buddy? Anything. Yeah, anything would be good. Brexton, I guarantee you fall in before we leave. You are being so crazy. I guarantee you fall in. <laughs> I ate sugar this morning. No, I think it's the way you're dressed. <laughs> Is this a fun way to spend the afternoon today? Yeah. What do you want to do? Yeah, so true, and this water is freezing. It's so cold, you don't have to fall in this one. Huh, Brexy? Yeah. Look at this, Kruby Doo brought his backpack chair combo. Brilliant, dude, you look like an experienced fishing savage out here. Kruby Doo, go ahead and tell us what just happened. Hey, the boss just casted my fishing pole into the water. <laughs> So you guys, I don't even know how he did this. He cast it, but he threw it so dang hard, the fishing pole came flying out of his hand. Oh my gosh, Ryler just caught his fishing pole. Hold on, is this it? Oh my gosh, dude, hang on. Here, hold this, hold this. Real action. But I'm afraid this is just gonna pull your line all the way out and we're never gonna get to the pole. Should we just keep going until we get your fishing pole? Right now, we're trying to get a uh, cruise fishing pole out of the water. He just cast the actual no, pole into the water. It's actually Brexton's, yeah. But Rye Guy just fished out a fishing pole. Dude, I don't know how much line this thing has. This may take forever. What are you gonna do oh, for here it comes, here comes, here comes, here comes. <laughs> Look at that, dude. We just fished out a fishing pole. Mom's gonna love it. How did you do that? You chucked that into the water. <laughs> you casted it so hard. Yeah. And then Rye Guy full on got it back by fishing out. So, dude, look, all you gotta do is you can do this for the next 20 minutes and you'll be good. <laughs> Oh, you gotta be kidding me. What? I just ran into a tree. Where is it, Daddy? I don't even know where. I just lost my drone. Can I see? 
All right, guys, we're going on a hike, bros. All right, guys, I'm gonna document this just on the off chance we actually come out with a positive outcome here, but uh, just lost my drone, just flew it straight into a tree. I don't know what the deal is. It's supposed to have sensors on the bottom, the front, the back, the sides, everywhere. So I feel pretty confident flying it. I was getting a cool shot of the snow-capped mountains over there flying sideways. It flew sideways straight into a tree, so I guess the side sensors didn't work. It does have GPS on it though, and it still has some battery life in it. So we're using the GPS on the app as a treasure map, and it looks like it might be somewhere up in these hills. So we're gonna load up in the truck, and we're gonna go on a little adventure scavenger hunt here looking for a drone. Our fishing just turned into a scavenger drone hunt. It looks like this is where we took off from. That's the dock that we were on, on this edge of the reservoir, which is this area right down there. So if I'm reading this right, flew off into the hills on the shallow side, or not the shallow side, but the near side, which is where we are, which puts it up here somewhere. And you guys can see right here, here's the image. There it is, up in a tree, just chilling, looking down at the ground. So I'm going to do my best to get closer to it. Oh my gosh, guys, it's 1,432 feet away. I mean, that's a long ways away. So let's just hope it doesn't shut down and we're going to do our best to drive towards it, see if we get any closer as we drive. We are in pursuit right now. You can see this little blue dot is us getting closer to it. The only way we can go though is on the roads that they have here and the roads don't go exactly where we need to go. We need to go straight up into those hills. We're hoping this does a little switch back up here. All right guys, so <laughs> we've got an update for you. It's potentially a great update, potentially an amazing update. So here's the deal. We have found, we went up this, this one road and it took us further and further away. So Ragai was a genius and he said, dad, look, there's that trail that you can go on with like razors and Jeeps, but I know the truck can do it. So head up that trail and look how close you can get. So guys, here's where we are. This is us, the blue dot. That's the drone stranded in the trees. So this is direct directly immediately out to our left. So guys, it is literally straight up this hill, somewhere in those trees. It's not gonna be right there. It's gonna go beyond that. So I'm gonna hike straight up this and see if I can find it in the trees up there. This is hopeful, you guys. The fact that we can get this close makes me believe that we might be able to pull this off. I just don't know how high up it is and if I'm gonna be able to climb the tree and get it. This is turning out to be pretty exciting. We were just saying we wish we brought a freaking GoPro. This is gonna be hard, but I have to document this. So I'm gonna take the big old vlog camera. I have to take the controller attached to the phone because that's what's got the connection to the drone right now. I'm so nervous it's gonna be trash by the time I find it, but it's literally right up in these trees. Let's go for a hike, people. Yeah, this would have been a lot more effective with a GoPro stumbling around with a big giant. Oh, hey, this is a path. Look how close I am, though. I mean, it's it's in here somewhere for sure. I'm gonna be able to get this. This is gonna be so sick. Oh, these shoes are not hiking shoes either. Tracking this thing. We are so close to that dot. I gotta tie these shoes. They keep falling off. Hang on. Guys, we are so close. Based on the way the camera's facing, I feel like it's gotta be in something like this because it looked way more wooded than this. I'm gonna go up through here. Gotta set these cameras down. My excitement is through the roof. It's gotta be right in here somewhere. We are almost on top of the dot. I wish you could see the grade of this incline, how steep this is. I would do anything to get this drone back. Sometimes in life you just gotta take a minute and take in the beauty. Look at these beautiful leaves. You couldn't find otherwise. I am just about on top of this. I've fallen 20 times. My stupid bad leg that doesn't work sucks. My shoes have fallen off twice and I am so stoked right now. <laughs> Okay. Guys, where is it? Oh, don't be in that tree. Good news is I am right underneath where the dot was. The bad news is the drone just disconnected. Must have self shut down in an effort to save the motors and the gimbal because they've been running at max speed. Just getting worked right now. But it's gotta be somewhere in here. I don't feel like it was looking down at pine trees when I looked at the footage though. Maybe it was. This would be pretty thick. I'm gonna do some exploring guys. Could be in that one. The dot was like right around here and it died like right as I entered this area. So it's one of these trees. I don't wanna say losing hope, but I've searched all these trees. I'm so close. I just don't know what tree it's in. I found this missing drone thing. It's supposed to play a sound for you. It's just not working. Uh, I pulled this up, but this dot doesn't move no matter where I go. And it has me a little bit off from where the last dot said it was. So now I just feel like I'm kind of wandering aimlessly. But I went back and looked at the footage to see if I could see like what it's looking down at. It definitely can see colorful leaves at the bottom and it's in what seems like thin dead branches, not like a thick fir tree like that. Maybe in here. I'm sure there are a hundred places that look exactly like this up here, but this is definitely looks like in the footage. Leaves, colorful leaves. They're more this color though, as if it would be straight up here. That doesn't help either. I'm shaking right now. Now, with potential excitement. This location thing, these dots are right on top of each other, claims it's right here, and this very much looks like the footage on the floor and the type of branches. So I definitely feel like I am in the area, finally. Unfortunately, I wasted a lot of time not in the area. Now I'm just trying to find a drone in all of this. Guys, I hear the faint sound, it's like a humming engine or something in here. Holy crap. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, you guys. You guys, there it is. Oh my gosh, there it is. Oh my gosh, there it is. Okay, hang on, I gotta get this. I don't even have to climb a tree. It's facing up. How is it facing up? How did I find it? It's facing the ceiling. Okay. Hang on, you guys, here it is. Here's my little baby, come here. It's just nestled in this bush. Probably just a few scratches. Okay, when I say nestled, I mean jammed in there pretty good. Oh my gosh, you guys. Oh my gosh. This 
his for the record books, the history books. I gotta give you a perspective of where I'm at. I just found this in the middle of a freaking forest. I gotta turn this off so the gimbal stops frying. Fold it up to protect it. Let's go see if this thing still flies. Oh my gosh, if you only knew where I was. I mean, can you see, I'm gonna hold this up. If you can see the reservoir down there, that's where we were flying. I've hiked straight up this mountain, this beautiful, beautiful mountain into the most dense part of this whole dead area and fished a freaking drone out of the mountains. Oh my gosh, minimal, minimal scratching, but I can wipe that off with a wipe. Oh my gosh, guys, happy ending. Straight up, elated, filled with joy. Now I need to focus on climbing back down and getting back to the kids. Okay, if this trail goes right back to the truck, I'm gonna be pretty disappointed that I didn't find it the first time. <laughs> I'm somewhat glad it ends. Then I don't feel stupid, but I still gotta find a way back down. Gross. Something died right there. Gross. Oh, geez Louise. Ah. It's only the ninth fall, so don't worry about it. I see the road though. I see the road. I'm not close to it, but I can see it for the first time. We've got mission nearly complete. I see the truck right down there. See right guy in the front. Keep a watch on the kids. I'm almost back, buddy. I'm almost back. Right guy right here! I got it! Ruby, I got it. I'll come tell you the whole story. I got it. Dude, it was up there. My shoes are not made for this. In my pocket. I just loaded everything in my pocket and took off. Dude, we did it. We did it, bro. There it is. The safe return of the Mavic 2 Zoo. It's back. It doesn't look bad. Dude, I think I can wipe it off with a wipe and it will be solid. Literally, the wings look perfect. Too. It was nestled caught in branches facing up. I don't know how I got a transmission signal of it facing down because it was facing up. It's so weird. So after a pretty adventurous afternoon, hiking mountains, chasing drones, getting fishing poles out of the lake, we decided to take it pretty chill in the afternoon part of the day. So kids are hanging out over here. We're gonna watch more Halloween Town. We only got about halfway through last time because bedtime creeped up on us. We're gonna try and watch a little bit more Halloween Town tonight. We had so many more crafts in mind to do today, guys. We had this amazing chocolate house. Instead of building a gingerbread house that you would make at Christmas time, this is a kit where you can make a haunted house out of chocolate. So so do that. I can make it with you? Should we wait and we'll make, make it with mommy though? I feel like mommy would want to make it with us. Uh-uh. <laughs> we're gonna wait and make that with mom. Finish off the night, like I said, we're gonna do some Halloween Town. The kids have gone through and picked out little 3D puzzles. Mom really cleaned out the dollar store. Paw Patrol for Brex and Kribby Doo. What do you got over there, buddy? PJ Masks. Thank you, dude. Thank you for taking these little dollar store 3D puzzles that we're gonna build to finish off the night here, watching some Halloween Town on the TV, and just winding the day down, you guys. It's been an interesting day without mom. It's crazy how much she adds to the home, especially just as far as like organization and keeping us on top of things, keeping the house clean. I've tried to go back through here after the chaos and clean up a little bit. It's been a ton of fun today, you guys. We can't forget to mention Hazy's 3D puzzle. Happens to be Peppa Pig, and she's wearing Peppa Pig. She is pretty amped right now. <laughs> Hazy, I love you so much. Hazy Go, have you had fun today? Mm -hmm. What was your favorite part of today? Um, going camping. Yeah, it felt like camping for as long as we were looking for that drone, huh? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I love you. That was just one of those experiences that like I feel, it just gave me one of those memories that we just have for forever. It'll be a funny story that we tell for forever. And at the time, it was a pretty crazy adventure, a little bit stressful for everybody, and stories that I think that we will honestly tell for a lifetime. fun today? Oh yeah. Uh, yeah, my favorite part was probably when I threw the fishing pole on the <laughs> That was hilarious, yeah, dude. You casted it part. so hard. My you... least favorite part is Waiting when for... you have to go get that stuff. I know, I know, I'm so sorry. I'll never ever live that down, guys. That'll be a story we tell forever. Rexy, what was your favorite part of today, buddy? Probably going up to Tipple Fork. Tipple Fork? I'm glad that you have a positive memory of that. And Ragam, my main man, did you have a fun day today? Yes, a lot of fun. What was your favorite part, would you say? Probably you chasing it. The drone. Me chasing the drone. <laughs> Tons of fun. Glad you guys could be along with us for that journey and along for the ride. We're just gonna wrap things up here tonight, building our puzzles, watching Halloween Town, and we're gonna sign off for tonight. We miss mom. We know she's having a ton of fun. We've been seeing some of her. Brexton says he misses her really bad. He's kind of the sweet, tender heart over there. I love that little Brexy doodle. Well, you miss mom really bad? Just a second ago, you said to build the haunted house without her. <laughs> I know mom's been having fun because she's been posting a little bit of her adventure on our Insta story. So check out our Instagram, at this is how we bang them. You can see what mom's up to. She's not been vlogging the experience, but she has been posting some on Insta. So check it out there. We'll be reunited with her tomorrow. Tomorrow morning, we're waking up early. We're heading up to Park City and we're gonna have a fun breakfast and we're gonna spend the whole day together as the Bingham family. It's gonna be a ton of fun. And guys, I am bringing the drone because it works. It fixed it. It just broke a couple of propellers, put on some new ones, and it's working great. So amazing recovery story there. We're gonna see mom in the morning and we'll see our YouTube family tomorrow. What do you guys say? Good night to everybody. Bye.